Hey guys, and welcome to my Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we transformed into our back, into our original form. We look amazing. Look at that shield and sword. Well, don't you think it's kind of weird that, um, Midna had us get that sword and shield for her to use, but she wouldn't, um, she'd rather not use them because she's in the Twilight and she'll just hold on to them for us. That was one part I really didn't understand when I first got the game. But now we got them, so we can do pretty much whatever we want with them. So, anyway, anyway, this episode we're going to be uh, starting one of my favorite temples in the game. The very first temple. I love this temple. Oh, and the dick of Baba decides to let go of me and wants to hug me and do other things to me. Alright, get some Deku Seeds. And... What do you know? This area is locked. Again. So, what you want to do is you want to go over here to this guy who gave you the lantern. And plus, he'll give you lantern as well. And plus, I kind of want to, um... Wait. I don't know if I have enough rubies for this, uh... For the bottle that you get here. But, I guess I can wait for a minute. You seemed familiar, but then your clothes seemed kind of different, so I got thrown off for a second. Listen, things have been a little rough around here lately. So, you should watch your step, okay guy? There are so many monsters now, I kind of got scared and closed off the path to the temple. But, you guy, you want to get back there, huh? You sure to look geared up for it, so here you go. I got the small key. So anyway, we can go back to the Ferrum Woods now. And then, wait, I'm already in the Ferrum Woods. But, anyway, we're going to be going to, into the area in the, of the Forest Temple. Um, I don't have that kind of money guy, so... I'm afraid that's going to have to wait for a while, so I'll come back once I have 100 rupees or more. So guys, let us begin this temple I've been wanting to start. Alright, so we've made it into- Oh, Marky! <laughs> Marky! <laughs> yeah, he didn't give me the first time, did he? Okay, as you can see, it is pitch dark in here, so what you want to do is you want to- Uh, wait. Wait, one. Oh, yeah, I can get- Uh, I can get more lantern. Oh, oh my god, that Deku Baba almost ran into me and almost took a little piece of heart away. And also, which is really cool about this game, you can also- Use your sword while you have your lantern out. It's just like hanging on your um on your belt. That is actually really cool. But the good thing is that we can get lantern on the way there. Alright, Farron Woods. What is this? The area is covered in fog. And the monkey solar lantern. Well, I can see how the monkey is trying to help us. Hey, what's this monkey's problem? You idiot! While you were staring off into, into dreamland, your lantern got stolen! Well, not for long. Because I'm going to get that lantern back, no matter what. This monkey better hurry it up. Monkey, if you don't eat your vegetables... I'm going to call your mom and tell her to take away your, um, your favorite book of all time. Because if you don't eat your vegetables, I'm going to be very furious with you. Monkey, I'm your father, and you will do as I say. Hurry up and do your homework. Monkey, that's not quick enough. Hurry up and do your homework. Do you hear me? Do your homework right now. That's better. Hurry up. You're lucky I protected you from that keys. So you better hurry up, little monkey. I don't care how innocent you make your little sounds. You just hurry up. I like that little flower on his head for some reason. It looks so adorable. A little monkey with a rose on his head. It's fu it's kind of 
awesome how the monkey gives us back our lantern. I mean, like, he's that smart. And anyway, we are almost up to the ledge. What do you know? And, let me guess, he's gonna run straight into that Deku Baba. Yeah, there you go. I already have enough Deku Seeds, so I don't need those lying around there. Excuse me. Monkey, are you finished your history homework? Come on, write that last sentence. There's no more fog. Why are you still swinging the thing? Good. You finished your homework. Now you can go read your book. It's kind of dumb how that monkey just left our lantern just unfilled. You got your lantern back. You ran out of oil while you were following the monkey around. Well, that mischievous monkey. But we're lucky we have a secondary bottle of oil right here. But, oh, we don't have a lantern out. I didn't see that. So now we gonna, so now we have our lantern refilled and ready to go for the temple. But what I would do out, out is what I would go and get a bottle of red potion. Or actually, no. I would go and get lantern oil like I did before. If anything had happened in the forest temple. Ooh, that, that, that was a nice one. That was a nice one as well. I kind of want to uh, go get those rupees that they're leaving behind. I heard another rupee drop. Where is it? Well, we got a blue rupee. Oh! That one just came out of the blue there. <laughs> and there's also like a small chest. Or... Did I get that small chest? I'm not sure if I got that small chest or not. Right now I want to save off for Mupi, so I'm afraid I'm not going to pay him. What? Oh, he's, he's going to come attack us. But little birdie, I want to save my money. Calm oh, down. All right, so we're what are we in here. That's pretty helpful. Ten rupees. That's nice. And what's that? It is our brethren, or our brother Wolf. Brother, it's so mu so nice to meet you. Brother, brother, brother. It's so nice to meet you again. <laughs> Brother, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't chew my head off. Sad ending right there. Where are we? It turns out we're, we're in a very unknown place. <gasps> Who is that? What? Let's try to attack him. Wow. The sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. I'm guessing you mean that I should have courage, Mr. Knight. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. You must use your courage to seek power and find it. You must. Only then you will become the hero of whom this world despairs. If you're if you do not find true courage, and then you wish to ha and then you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. Hidden skill, the ending blow. Enemies that are filled with energy will quickly recover and attack again when even stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a secret technique you can use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground, stun L target and press A to leap right into the air and deliver a final strike. When the opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see the finish A appear vividly on your eyes. Now try it on me. You want me to kill you? No. No, 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 no. Fine, I'll kill you. Here we go, guys. <gasps> That was a pinpoint strike. 
Never overlook your opportunity to, opportunity to finish with A. The first hidden skill is the ending blow has been passed on. That is amazing. So learn the first hidden skill, the ending blow, when you f when you fell a full lock on with L and deliver a final blow with A. There are six hidden skills before you for, for you to learn. They're only f those are only for ones who carries the blood of the hero, the one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statues that howl the sound of the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the be of the beast to awaken me again. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. So it turns out we learned some pretty awesome stuff on our way here. But we're going to learn even more stuff by going into this temple. A lot more stuff. Trust me. Oh god, Moblin. You're not going to ruin my moment. And both of you guys are dead. This sword is a lot better than that wooden sword that Ruffle gave us. Well, you can't blame him. He did kind of help out a little bit. So now it's time to start. The Forest Temple. We are in the Forest Temple. What is that I see? Is that a monkey? And he's trapped. That is a trapped monkey. We gotta go save him, guys. Monkey, I'm here to rescue you. I'm coming, little monkey. Hang on. There you go. Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Are you- aren't you the popular one? <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna lead our slingshot to take both these spiders out. That's how we're gonna walk up there when we're gonna be, um, bitten by spiders. Uh, let's get some rupees just for the heck of it, because I need to get some to get that bottle that I couldn't get earlier in the episode. Monkey, you jump around all you want. It's not gonna make it go any quicker. Um, let's make sure there's nothing important around here. Well, it's a heart. I'll get that for good luck, even though I already have full health. About this side, let's get some pots. Another ruby. Awesome. That's good enough. Now we are in the main room, but let's see something about this room. It is crawling with creatures. But, we gotta wait for the spider to open its mouth so we can go ahead and strike it. And, finishing blow. Let's test it off. And, awesome way to put away a sword. So, as you can see, there are lanterns lying around. So, what you want to do is you want to light all of them. Light, light. And, well, well, a secret passage. I'm making that reference from Uncharted 3. I don't know why, it's just funny. I got the dungeon map! Our very first dungeon map of the game. We got it. Uh, what is it over here? Another heart and another ruby. What do you know? Uh, anything back here? Nope. I guess not. Whoa, looks like there's a bridge right there. Well, let's see what we're gonna let's see what we're gonna do. That look that bridge looks very, very steep and broken. Until <gasps> Who's that? What? No! No! Little monkey! 
Um, nice camera shot right there, <laughs> I'd have to say. And that monkey survives somehow? We don't know at all. Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? That reminds me of something, guys. Think about it. I'm not, I'm not even going to say it. Just think about it. Oh, no. Now we can't go any farther. We might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere. So maybe you should just follow her. Okay. I guess we'll just follow her, I guess. That's what Minda did say, right? Alright, monkey, where do you want to go? Oh, uh, you won't, like, really want me to grab onto your hands. You know how dangerous that is. Now, far down a drop that is. But, let's do it anyway. <laughs> Alright. Ugh. God, my throat is really hurting. And, what is that? Is that a bombling? Well, and there's a rock right there. What is it going to reveal to us, guys? Let's find out. What the heck? Did I see something go back into that pot? What was that? What in the heck? What the... What the heck? Gracious. Once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. You were a big help. Thanks. I'm looking for something in here, you see? Gracious, yes! You must need something in here. Well, well, shall we try working together for a while, fellow adventurer? You may not think I look like much, but I can I can be quite helpful. I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. So don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. What the heck is floating above my hands? What the heck? What is that? What in- What? Look at Link's reaction. That was just unexpected. Look at him. That face can tell you everything he's saying without even him saying anything. That- What? Uku. That's- What? 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 That is the weirdest. I'm getting out of that nightmare of an area. And as you can see, there are other spiders around this room. So you want, want to take them out as well, so you don't get bitten on the butt. And what is it going to give us? Nothing. Not a thing. And there's also another spider right there. So what you're going to do is you just want to shoot her. And she'll just kill herself right there. That's pretty funny. But unfortunately, the door is locked, so you don't want to go in there just yet. But right now, we want to take another look around. Let's find something in these, uh, this thing right here. No, I don't guess anything much. So, let's see what's in here. Actually, I want, actually, I want to take you guys uh, a little detour around where I'm taking you guys. So, what is in this room? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, apparently we can't use this room yet. So, but there is another thing right here. There is a small key. So, this is the only thing that helps in this room. But these are just other rooms that you will see later on the game. So, we're gonna have to check that out later. What awaits us, guys. Let's see what awaits us. Alright, so now we can get into the locked door that we've seen before, and with me jumping in the water, of course, which I actually want to show you guys in the water. If there is, if you swim over in uh, this area, you're going to see a little passageway over here in this little corner, and if you go in there, you're going to find something pretty awesome, and it is a yellow rupee, 10 rupees, well it does help. Now, I just need 50 more to go get that bottle that I wanted to get before. 
So now, let's see this little monkey back up with us. Come on, little monkey. Is a monkey gonna come off with this? No, I guess not. Well, I'll just move on without him, I guess. What the heck? He just came out of the wall. What? I don't, I don't even understand. <gasps> There's a monkey right there. Do we have to go save him, guys? Oh, God. Another monkey. He needs help, guys. Well, we have no other choice but to go help him. Oh no. Now we can never go back without the help of the, without the help of the monkeys. So, we're gonna have to go save this guy. And what you wanna do is you wanna bump into him twice, call it thing and knock down. But you wanna do it a little soon because you just uh way too long. You gotta end up doing it again. No! Moblins! They're gonna try to kill the monkeys. And me as well. Well guys, let's do it. Finish and can I finish the other one before it can't back up? Aw, I wanted to finish him. Ah, uh, doesn't matter anyway. It's cool. All right, a heart piece. Oh, not the heart piece, but a, a heart in general. And and the monkeys are gonna help us out. Come on, little monkeys, do your job. Well, they are helpful. I'll say that. All right. What awaits us to the next room? Now what you want to now what you want to do is you want to go back to the main room where you first um saw that uh first big spider in the in the temple. So in that room, the monkeys are gonna lead you to two directions, which you can uh which you can go explore by yourself with help of the monkeys. And monkey number one right here is gonna do its job. And monkey number two is gonna do its job right here. Alright, now, once we burn open the web, we're gonna find another room. Let's see what it awaits us, guys. What? It's a new, it's a new kind of Deku Baba. Only its uh, head is bigger. Wow, that was pretty awesome. Alright, now, if you look around the room, you're gonna see many things that await us. Um, number one is these uh, these things that, that are on the ground that swallow you if you, um, if you fall into them. Like, um... The one right here. So what you want to do is you want to go, uh, throw a I'm a dummy in this episode. I don't know why I just did that. All right, but it's not too much of a problem. We can we can get another heart easily. So throw throw the bomb in, and he swallows it and explodes it into a million pieces, so we can never live again. Boom. <laughs> well, you started it. Alright, now, we're gonna have to do that a second time, because you know why? That rock right there is actually something you can actually do. So you want to run over here as fast as you can, and throw the rock up there, and it'll give us a secret passage. But earlier and later, later on, you want to come back to uh, to this room a little later on to get something, because this room isn't all that easy. You can't just like do one thing and then you'll be done. But no, you gotta like come back and get something else. And let's see what's up here. Um, a blue rupee. That is pretty helpful. All right. Uh, what's up there? It's a treasure chest. Let's see what it is. Another small key. It is pretty helpful. Alright. Now, these new enemies here, these always used to scare me when I played this game. I didn't know what the heck was under these things. But, at least we did get past them. Oh, God. I completely fell for it. I completely just fell for it. Oh, my God. What the heck is wrong with these guys? They're trying to kill me. <laughs> Alright. Now, enough being an idiot. Let's go ahead and start, like, right here. Open up that passageway. And there's one last torch you want to get, um, somewhere off to the left side. And... 
these guys better not try to throw me off again. All right, now we have lifted all f all four of them up. Well, two of them because two are already lifted up when we first entered the room. All right, let's see what is up here, guys. It better not see. It better not be something bad. What the heck? There's another monkey right there. He wants our help, guys. We should save him. Come on, little monkey. I'm not even want to help. Oh my god, that spider just lays there dead while the spider, while the spider just like comes out. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go save one last. Oh my god. Yes, we're gonna go save one last. Oh my god. And then we're gonna end off the. Okay. I played this game for a very long time, and I'm just now falling for those things. That is pretty dumb right there. Alright. So now, there's one last monkey to help us out. And, uh, they're gonna get us back to the bridge and see what awaits us back then. And that, long, that, and that last monkey should be in this room here. Make sure there's no, uh, deadly thing below there. And there should be one last monkey in this room that we uh, didn't visit yet. Another monkey! He needs our help. But what else is, what else is in the room? Oh man, it's a small key, and what the heck ate it? No! You ate the key! Do you know how bad keys are for you to eat? That could kill you. Come on, give me the key. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Just give me the key. It's easy. Just give me the key. Give me the key! Just hurry up and give me the key! <laughs> key. key! Are you serious? Are you serious? What the heck? There we go. God, it took like several hits to take that guy down. But, there's another thing for us to do. Get this bombling and we'll get a surprise. A very, 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 very good surprise. Let's see what he gives us. An explosion. That's all you got for me? What the heck game? Not only that, but a small key. That kind of reminds me of Luigi's Mansion uh, at the beginning, like when you get the first key and they zoom in on the key on the floor. That, that is pretty. That is a pretty good reference. But now we have one last monkey to save, guys, and then I'm gonna end things off for this episode. All right, so guys. It seems we've been going for quite long enough, so guys, in the next episode of Twilight Princess, we're going to be moving on to help the rest of the monkeys and finish off the temple and get whatever else we need to get in here. So guys, subscribe, like, comment, or anything else, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, peace out, bye. Later. This little monkey's staring at me.